Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let's continue on to problem number 15. Problem number 15, if you'll see, absolute value of 2x minus 1 equals 3 is an absolute value equation. Now, when you're solving an absolute value equation, your first step is to make sure that the absolute value bars are alone so that you can interpret the problem. And in this case, they already are alone. If the absolute value of 2x minus 1 is equal to 3, what that means in English is that 2x minus 1 is located at a distance of exactly 3 blocks or 3 units from 0. If 2x minus 1 is located at a distance of exactly 3 blocks from 0, that means that 2x minus 1 is sitting on top of the number negative 3, or it could mean that 2x minus 1 is sitting on top of the number positive 3. So we have two possibilities. 2x minus 1 is either at negative 3, or 2x minus 1 is at positive 3. In the first case, when I add 1 to both sides of the equation, 2x is equal to a negative 2, therefore x is negative 1, and there's one solution. In the second case, if 2x minus 1 is 3, 2x is equal to a positive 4, x is equal to 2. Now, even though you don't have to check answers, I want to show you they work. If I took the number negative 1 and went to the original equation, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3, and the absolute value of negative 3 is positive 3, so it works. If I took the number 2 and went to the original equation, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 minus 1 is 3, absolute value of 3 is 3, therefore they both work. Your solution set here consists of the number negative 1 as well as positive 2. Now remember what I said in this problem. When you're solving an absolute value equation, let's look at another one. The absolute value of 3x plus 7 plus 8 equals 2. The first thing you do when you're solving an absolute value equation is you need to get the absolute value bars alone so that you can actually interpret what's happening in the problem. So my first step here is to subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. That gives me absolute value of 3x plus 7 is equal to a negative 6. Okay, we have problems. And the reason we have problems there, okay, I'm just going to write a big resounding no. The reason this is not possible is distance, let's remember this, distance cannot be negative. Okay? Absolute value equaling negative 6 is not possible. Therefore, this is a very easy problem to do. Your solution set is the empty set. And we're done. Always remember when you're solving absolute value equations, your first step is to isolate the absolute value before you can determine what happens next. Okay, good luck on your review.